bro. That just that's a that's it's, a tough task, bro. It's it's clockwork. It's clockwork. But, sure. Uh, shit. As far as like, because you rap too. Yeah. Have you been like in the making of thinking about doing a music video, or have you just? Uh, yeah, I mean, you got a lot of music. Yeah, I got a lot of music. I got a lot of music coming out too that, like, you don't even know about. Like, I just sent to, like, a couple of, like, homeboys with this, like, like, does it sound good? Because I'm the biggest critic of my music, but, uh, I got some music videos playing, like, with one of my homeboys up here. He's trying to get started. I'm like, you know, I'll rock out. Because I don't be wanting no, like, crazy edits and I'm like that. I just be wanting something real cool, simple, simple, you know? Simple. So, yeah, I got some stuff playing. Probably, my goal is to be able to drop it before... For Christmas, that's the plan. Which I know it seems like a long time, but it's like I don't want to rush nothing. You know what I'm saying? Make yeah. sure everything right. It's the right song and all that stuff. Cause I don't want to put out the wrong song. You know, and it don't really bust like that. I'm trying to get the you know the best song that everybody rocking with. So which song that you like dropped recently? Would you double back and make a video for? Probably Ricky Bobby. Ricky, Ricky Bobby. That's my, that's new. Like my favorite I song. <laughs> yeah, that's my, that's yeah. my baby. I I don't even know. Like I don't know, man. That that song just so hard to me. I just be. I don't know. When I be writing songs, I don't even like really be thinking that much for real, for real. But that one, I was just like, no, I need to keep writing on this one. Like, okay. I don't know too much about like the whole, the whole process of like upload the music. But uh-huh. as far as like, cause you for the most part been on SoundCloud for yeah. as long as I can remember. Is that like easier for you to upload your music? Oh yeah, it's super easy. You just get the little M4A uh, or the MP3 file, whatever you got. You just upload it to uh, SoundCloud through. You can do it through your phone. Uh, through your files on your phone, your laptop, anything mm-hmm. like that. But I actually got an EP dropping soon with my boy Guap. Uh, okay. He produced like like five five beats. I rapped on. Them. We're gonna like drop a little collab, little EP soon it's on a- on Apple Music. So it'll be through Distro Kid and everything. Cool. So yeah, yeah. Cause yeah. I know a lot of people be wanting that on there. But yeah. I'm like, I ain't got the breath for that right now. <laughs> I got, you know, I'm putting money in a lot of different places. So it's like on me, on me. So it, so the new Distro Kid it. Those different like platforms and stuff like that, it costs to do that? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I think it might be either a yearly subscription or a monthly subscription. Damn, I know and you can do it either like, like a, an individual thing where it's like you just upload your stuff. My homeboy, he bought the one where you can like upload as a um, as a, a record company or a record label. Mm-hmm. So like when we upload my thing, it's going to make like a little page for me too, for my oh, music. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So like... It'll branch out. It'll say like whatever we want it to say for like the record label. Okay. Like I also like Atlantic or something like that. It'll say whatever we want it to say. So cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. Yeah. So that's on the way too. I'm trying to drop that before Christmas too. Probably on the same day. For real, for real. Try to get the the video done and then polish up a couple of other songs. Cause right now I got I want to say about ten songs unreleased that I just recorded in the past like two three weeks. And them gonna be on the EP or is it only gonna be half of them? I don't know. I got a lot more music to record, so like, cause I've been recording like almost every week, probably like two or three songs a week. So, uh, it just depends on what's what I'm rocking with. Like, we usually just come in here after I record. I come home, me and the guys just chill, listening to music, and see which one we really messing with. And that's what like I decide which one I'm, like, which one I'm gonna drop and stuff like that. So, okay, yeah, we'll see though. Do you have a certain like? Do you have a certain like stake that you're going for for the for the EP? Uh, it's just like my most my most style just real smooth like real player like I think of myself as like in terms of like confidence stuff like that as like blue face like I just okay. be like my stuff okay. is like more so like cocky rapper type I can see that I can see yeah, that like, I, I just like that. bragging about myself it's okay. just that's just fun okay. yeah so Rick, Ricky Bobby and I think it was another one uh, what was it uh, Dame Time. Oh uh, yeah, Ricky Bobby um, and Dame Time. That's I can see that. I, I, I can uh, see yeah. that. I can see that. Yeah. Uh, so like switching gears and talking about from music to the whole clothing line thing, you kind of like a fashion guy yourself. So yeah, like, I, I rock fashion. Talk yeah. talk about the whole process and like how Bada came into came into play. What that mean and like are you still rocking with it or? Oh yeah. So, uh, so you know I got done with football senior year, mm-hmm. graduated, and I'm like. I make I like making clothes. Mm-hmm. I have been making clothes, stuff like that, just like customizing my own stuff, stuff like that. I'm like, all right, boom. So I think like a month after graduation, I made like three shirts, and I I posted them on Instagram. I was wearing them. People were like, I want that, I want that. So mm-hmm. and on the shirt it says Scouts. So I made my first brand was called Scouts, and that's based off of Sheck West. I like Sheck West a lot, and mm-hmm. he like he calls his boys the Scouts. So okay. he's like, you know the Scouts, you know what I'm saying? Like you know the vibe. So that's what it was based off of. So. 
my first little collection, I guess you could say, I was selling shirts, 25 bucks a piece, little heat transfer shirts, I was doing all myself. And then I kind of was like, mm, I'm not really feeling this no more, so I stopped. Uh, so freshman year, about halfway through freshman year, I'm looking for another different avenues to get to back to fashion. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I found Teespring, and that's why I was just like recently, just because it's like hands free, because I don't really have time to be making shirts myself yeah, or yeah. bringing out bread to put down three hundred dollars on fifty shirts or something like a uh, hundred shirts or something like that. I don't yeah. know, you know what I'm saying? Like I got, like I said, I got money left from all the places. <laughs> so uh, uh, found Teespring. Um, then I started really, I didn't know how to use no type of software, Photoshop, Illustrator, none of that stuff. So I basically taught myself that freshman year, okay. the second semester of freshman year going into COVID. So I think I released my first drop for Bada. Bada came from Born Alone, Die Alone. That just came from me always feeling like I got, I got friends in this, obviously. I got, I'm, I'm with people, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it's like, you only come in this world by yourself and you don't lead the same way. Exactly. Nobody's gonna be in that box with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. You, you know what I mean? So it's like, make every day count. Cause you really it's gotta you. deal with it, like, by yourself. Yeah, like, your problems is your problems at the yeah. end of the day. You know yeah. what I mean? So, uh, that's where Bada came from. So I dropped the first piece, and it busts. Then I dropped the second piece, and it busts. So I'm like, okay. And I just kept putting stuff out. But as of now, I'm kind of in a mode where I just really wanna work on music. Okay. Well, that's like, that's my biggest, like, dilemma is like, Trying to find that balance. Between and that's why I wish I had two. I wish I was two people because I could do both. Hey. But it's like, <laughs> right now, this is my attention. But I'm sure probably January, I'll be back to just clothing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It'll just go back yeah, and forth. Everybody, everybody take their breaks, like, yeah. especially like when it comes to like other avenues and endeavors and stuff. Like, if you go back to like really what's making you, you know what I'm saying, your, your notoriety or your fame, whatever you want to call it, or your yeah. money, you know what I'm saying, you go back to that for a minute. And then double back and then do the little side hustles and yeah. stuff like that. That's going to make that stuff pop. Too. No, for but, sure. Yeah. And I, I, I definitely feel like trying to, like, you stretching yourself in two different directions. Yeah. Because between back of the bus and RITC, it's like trying to do both at the same time. And just now, since I'm not, like, doing anything extra, mm -hmm. it's becoming a little bit easier. Yeah. And I'm being able to, like, do both at the same time. But, like, I got two different, three different pages that I got to run all yeah, the time. No, yeah. And trying to put people on to this and trying to, you know, incorporate people into it, it's like, you can't really, it, it's kind of the same thing with what you said about you you come into this world alone, you're going to leave alone, mm -hmm. and you really got to deal with your problems. So really trying to get people to understand, like, between the two and trying to get, like, put people on to this right. is... It's really I, I I'm really gonna have to deal with this by myself because I can't you know what I'm saying everybody so, can't see that vision so yeah. that's I I definitely feel that I definitely oh, yeah so as far as the EP goes and like your brand and stuff like that after that mm -hmm. what what's what's coming next like I know we ain't we ain't even got to like the the finished EP part but yeah. what's 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 coming next like what's Cause I know when it comes to me and what I'm doing, and this is probably for everybody, like you always got like a set plan, yeah. and then you think five years in the future. Oh like, uh, yeah, no, so, yeah, like man, I ain't gonna lie, like my music been getting a lot of traction, like recently, like um, I've been getting a lot of love just from like you know just friends and just people I don't know, but I've been getting crazy enough. I've been getting like asked for features, and I'm like for feature prices, and I'm like I don't have that. I don't know. What that <laughs> is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've only made music with my friends before. Yeah, so I don't yeah. have it. I don't have a feature price. So that's me going and researching and seeing what, you know, people are like, because mm -hmm. I don't want to oversell nobody because yeah. I'm not like, I'm not exactly. famous yet. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Like, but um, I really just want to keep pushing with this music because I feel like I can really like blow up off this because I, I don't think nobody like really doing what I'm doing, especially in the Midwest. You especially know what I'm like with the flow too. Yeah. yeah it's like, like, we, we from, we from the loop. We yeah. know what type of flow there are. We yeah. know what type of flow it is. And it ain't no like no no like this and to that. Cause every uh, city, every state got their own little flow. Right. You got that one person or them like that little handful of people that come into it and they start rapping, but they got a totally different flow. Yeah. See, my thing is like, then I think it's like gonna help me and propel me like forward is that like I don't have no style. Like I do, I rap on any beat. Like I'm only writing right. No Scrub by TLC right now. Like just that. <laughs> like, I don't have a, I don't have no style. Like, Versatile. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just. Like I uh my homeboy um Fatir, he a rapper too. 
uh, in the NM L Hano, but he got a song. He be singing it. I was singing on the song with him. Like mm -hmm. I don't do that. But I'ma try it. You know what I'm saying? My yeah, yeah, me, and me. it came out hard. You know what I'm saying? It was my first time doing something like that. That melodic shit, but. It came out hard, so like that's like what well, I think is my biggest thing. Cause I can do that high speed, you know. Yeah, yeah bro. I can do all that. That's, that's, I can do all that. You know? That's easy. That, yeah, that, but like that come with it. You know what I'm but saying? But like what you'll see in my music is like my influences is really T Keith. That's my biggest influence. Mm -hmm. So it's like you're gonna see a lot of his influence in my music because that's what I like to listen to. That's all I listen to really. So it's like I don't have like no one lane. Like if you give me a beat, I'm just gonna try my best to just fit it. Stay you know what I'm saying? Okay. So okay, that's what, like my biggest plan is though, is just to keep pushing with this music and. I kind of got fashion in the back burners right now, like I said, but no doubt, no doubt, it's still no doubt. part of me. You no know doubt. I mean? Now going back to the to the feature thing, mm -hmm. if you we ain't gonna we ain't gonna put the feature list out there because yeah. I don't know like who to hit you up brand like that. But if you could do a feature with somebody, who would you do it with? They're like local, say local. You know what I'm saying? If we want to go big industry, we can, but uh -huh. let's. We can, we can do local. Can okay, do let's local. do local first. Uh, I'll do both. Yeah, I just, I'm going to do like three for each. Um, I'll probably say Suavo. I'm going to say Suavo. Okay. Rockstar D, I'm okay. sure. And then, uh, I'm not going to talk about that one. I already got that one in the works. <laughs> uh, uh, I think you gotta go fold. LA Folds. LA Folds. Yeah, yes, yes, sir. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Yeah. Waiting for it. That's yeah. a legend. I gotta go folks. But I miss what everybody's saying this. I don't like like I said, like I don't I don't diss nobody. I don't do nothing like I'm not yeah. cracking nothing. Like I'm cool with everybody. You ever wanna make music and you know what I'm saying? I rock with whoever rock with me. So. Right, right. That's but right. That's right. uh like big time. Blueface for sure, that's like my favorite rapper. <laughs> that's my favorite rapper. Yeah, that motherfucker goes stupid. No, for real. And then uh Chief Keith for sure, and then Wayne. Most likely Wayne or Young Wayne. Boy. Yeah. Young Boy. Yeah. That was my my dream, my dream features. But it's a lot of people. I listen to a lot of music, like I listen to a lot of music. All different types of genres and stuff. So okay. but okay. yeah, those are those are my dream features, I'll say. What's some of the what's some of the different genres that you listen to as far as music? Bro? Man, if you look at my playlist, bro, I got I got some crazy stuff in my playlist. And I got like straight up like rock songs and stuff. Just like cause I I go off of like nostalgia, like so. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you young, you're playing like WWE Smackdown. Yeah. So I got three songs in my playlist, but then you'll go to, like to the next song, it's Pappy. So it's like, you know what I mean? Like, I got a lot of stuff. Pappy was goaded. I ain't no, Pappy. Pappy was definitely was like middle school era. Like, no, Pappy was really that. My whole middle school. But for, school for me, but I was gonna, this might get some hate, and I apologize, but in Chicago, if you're not Pappy the Chief, Keith, you're not really like mess with me. Like yeah. I don't always feel like you know what I mean. Like I don't feel like nobody else touching them too. Pappy like, was different. Me. Pappy was different for sure. Like yeah. that's I can sit over here and rap his song up top of my dome. He just was something different, bro. Like that's that was on repeat daily walking through the halls. So. It's like he was rapping about the same stuff in that drill scene, but he was doing it in a different way. It's like mm -hmm. different beats. He had different, a different flow. Like, yeah, like you said earlier, like with the melodic, like on a few of those songs, he got on the beat on like the, the mm -hmm. chorus and sung those out a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, no, your yeah, Pappy was going for sure. You you could definitely tell he put like some creativity into mm -hmm. his his music, but yeah, yeah. Pappy Pappy was most definitely the like, legend, man, for sure. What what was like, because you hear a lot of people say uh, the Chicago scene was like their inspiration for that music. Uh -huh. Specifically, what what are your favorite songs from the like rappers that you named as far as Chief Keith and uh, uh, what other That's hard, man. Pappy and, Pappy and Pappy 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 Pappy. I'd probably say acapella by Pappy for sure. But he got so many hits, like, he had oh, just uh, two cuts, part one and part two, mm -hmm. like, that's the, that whole, both of those, top to bottom are just good. Um, and then Keith, like, it's something so like a name because he got so many different, like, styles, mm -hmm. like, uh, it's just crazy. What's that song Keith got? Um, he rapping about the superheroes. Uh, I don't know. Ah, oh, shit, he like, um, call me so, so bad, man, or something like that. Dang, I don't know. That song hard. Uh, Colors hard. Man, he got uh, some songs, man. My favorite song right now, probably by him, is uh, for real. For that song I just dropped last night with him and Kodak. I ain't uh, even listening to the one that he got. That's how. That's how. That's Kodak how hard. Yak is up there too with me, bro. I love Yak. Kodak Black is so hard, bro. Like, yeah, like with that, it was a song that he dropped before he went to jail. Um, that was on that one album, the like the red album cover. Uh -huh. I can't remember. 
that that had that that one was lit. That that whole album was lit. The album yeah. before that was yeah, lit. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, he been doing this like they been both been doing this since like they was like sixteen, bro, mm -hmm. like fifteen, sixteen years mm -hmm. old, and been rapping with like grown men since they was that young. Like exactly, crazy. and they changed the whole game. They put my people they, on, man. They changed the whole game. No, for real, bro. But going back to what you said about two cups, mm -hmm. I feel like that, like that whole, because you know at the beginning, two cups has got the the Apple Music, the, yeah. the little Apple ringtone or whatever. Yeah. Like that's, I feel like. I don't know, and a lot of people might shade this or whatever, but that right there is almost relatable to the love you shoot a ball, you say Kobe. No, yeah, yeah. So not for sure. That's yeah. Pappy, Pappy was most definitely different. No, Pappy. If you don't acknowledge Pappy, you crazy. Crazy as hell. You're crazy. <laughs> if you want to say he ain't like influence drill music, you're crazy. Bro. So what now? Because. Pappy and this other person I'm going to mention kind of came up in the same era. I don't mm. remember where he's from specifically. I believe he's from Chicago too. But motherfuckers might really be like, I'm stupid. Speaker Nigger. Was, was you a big Speaker Nigger? No, Speaker Nigger. Oh, Rico Story. That's like, like, one, of, like <laughs> that's one of the hardest trilogies I've ever heard in my life. Bro. Rico like, Story? Just how, because like, I don't think people understand how hard it is to even like write a song, but to write a song in the story and then make it a story, mm -hmm. like that's hard, and it's make it make sense and make it sound good. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And he did it three times. Who else did that? Uh, I want to say he did it, and somebody else did it. Uh, Meek Mill did it, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. I can't think. It's, it's so many people that it's like one of his older, like mm -hmm. older projects. Uh, what was the name of that damn song? Something. And it was at the beginning of it too. Mm -hmm. But back to this yak situation, bro. Yeah. <laughs> now did you see this man on 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 Instagram groping his mother the yeah, other day? Man, I <laughs> see, I don't be getting into all the politics, man. I don't think that, you know what I'm saying? That's yak. You can't really touch yak, man. You can't really touch I'm a, yak. I'm a big believer. To certain to a certain extent, you gotta separate, sometimes you gotta separate the artist from their music. Mm -hmm. Or they art. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like I ain't really feeling all that. <laughs> but I like music the music hard. hard you know what I'm saying? The like, music hard. Like I'm a firm believer. Sometimes to an extent, like sometimes, like like with the whole R. Kelly situation. Uh -uh. Like I ain't, I can't be sure at all now because all that is going on. But I jump and believe I can fly. I'm like, no, like, like I don't know. Like I don't know. So, but I know, I know for a fact, you have like an inkling or a thought about what people were saying when he got out of jail. Oh, as far as yeah. Oh yeah. Like that. That's not him. That that's like clone, clone or whatever. All that clone stuff, man. Honestly, bro, for real, that's what I'm thinking. Like, if the government was that smart, bro, and like they was doing something like that, you would not know. Like, you wouldn't even have the the thought about it. But at the same time, I don't know if people be woke. That would be they. That would be their whole purpose, though. Like, yeah. for them to like make you think that you're stupid, or if they make make sure. you think that you own something when you really. Not, but then again, you really are type. I think in my head, bro, I just be like, for real, for real, I just be like, I don't be cut that much. Like, <laughs> I, I'm not gonna yeah, ever fight that. You know, if I do, it's like, I probably beat him and that'd be it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, whoever this yak is, pop about the Yeah, like, yaki. I just be worried about, like, my world. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I don't know. Sure. Sure. I don't really pay attention too much to it, so everything else. Like, I just be mm -hmm. worried about, like, what's gonna affect me. I know it might be selfish to some extent, but it's just not, like, not, that's how I stay happy. You know what I'm saying? Not really, because it's like, that's kind of how I am with like social media and stuff like that. Like with the stuff that I'm doing, yeah. I have to stay involved like in the middle of like the news and stuff like that, right. and the political stuff. But if I didn't have to, I wouldn't. No, yeah, like, I, just, truth me. I keep and the blinders on, but I just pay attention to what I'm doing. I've I've taken I've taken like breaks and stuff like that from social media pages and yeah. all of that. Like I ain't got no problem with taking a break from Instagram. If I want to take a break from Instagram, I do that for five months. Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying, but. Like, I don't think that's selfish. I think that's like you said, just like making sure you're staying happy, make sure you're staying sane. Because if you're sitting over watching all these other people 24 7 like right. that, you, I know people that get up, don't even brush their teeth yet, and already on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's you know what I'm life. saying? But yeah, like, focus on that and like hiding behind that stuff. Like, mm -hmm. that's going to that's gonna throw your whole motivation out. You're going to be on track with somebody else's dreams instead of your own shit. Right. So, yeah, chasing that cloud. So, what, like, as far as. What are some issues you ran into though, as far as like your music goes? Have you ever had like any, any like blank, 
pages or like any blank thoughts about a beat when you want it? Oh, like, uh, yeah. No, like, so how I write, bro, is like, real talk, we'll come downstairs, me and the guys come downstairs, and uh, I just put a, put a beat up on the um, TV and I'll freestyle till they stop me. And then oh, I'll write it down. Okay. And then once I get to a point where I'm like, okay, that's a good start, I'll go to the next beat. Okay. I never stand on one beat too long unless it's like some, like, I think it was Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday last week. I was right on this beat and I was like, nah, this hard. And I was my friend, I'm like, this hard ain't it? He's like, yes. I, was, I just kept writing and I finished that song in like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's like, some songs, like, it, it's been some songs, like, Ricky Bobby took me like 10, 15 minutes to write. Mm -hmm. But some songs it took me like days to write. Like, I, I done hit it like three days in a row and then like, uh, I don't like that. Delete some shit, go back, write it a week later. You know what I'm saying? Like, write some more a week later. Like, it's been songs that, I'll finish when I'm in the studio recording. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, go back and like, I'm writing or freestyling it while I'm reading this. You know what I'm saying? Like, has, has it ever been like, are you, so what you saying that, it don't seem like you kind of like a, a situation of rapper. Like, you just rap about whatever. 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 Yeah. You don't have no like, oh, well, if I'm feeling this type of way, I'm rapping like this. No. Or if I'm feeling this type of way, I'm rapping like this. It's just straight mm -hmm. like, okay. No, that's like, I, once I hear the beat, are you know what I want to hear in my head? Cause like, the same thing is like, like how I approach music is the same way I approach fashion. Mm -hmm. Like with Bada, I don't make nothing for nobody else. Like what I make is what I wear. Right, right. So it's like, you can buy it. Like I, I didn't have stuff that's like, I didn't have stuff that sold 100, 200 exactly. yep. pieces. And I've had things that sold fine. I, that's, 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 that's fast though. That's fast. But that's I'm fast. rocking and then like this thing too that's crazy to me is like, I'll drop something, right? And then it'll sell like, 20, 20, 30 pieces. Mm -hmm. Then I'll post a picture in it, the bitch get hit like a kid, a kid. In like a week. You know I, don't I, mean? know, I don't know what it is about like, I guess people actually happen to see how it looks on another person yeah. for it, for them to, cause a lot of people like, they cling on to stuff from like other people. Like, right, no, yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't know um, how to put it. Like they just, if they see somebody else with it or they see somebody, they'll- They want to you got it. It's not like, and it's very rare people that are like this, but it's not like, oh, okay, I'm gonna get it because I want it. Like, no, yeah, I, it's because you got it. it. Right, it's it's because he look good in it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She look good in it, I'm finna, no, yeah. I, I know what I can do with that too. Yeah. But for sure, like, that's that's definitely, when it comes to, like, being an a entrepreneur and just being, like, a businessman in general, mm -hmm. having that feel for, like, okay, I'm doing what I want to do. I'm dropping what I want to do. Yeah. I'm not... Doing this for nobody else, and I feel like that's why a lot of people go down in it, uh -huh. um, and why a lot of people have their hiccups and just stop. Yeah. Um, because, and this is due to social media too. Everybody glorifying the prize instead of the process of that. Yeah. Like the process is really what's like the motivational part of everything. Like mm -hmm. that's what get people into like that that mode or that that like that thought process. Like yeah. I'm gonna do this for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna put this out for nobody. And I really like how now with Instagram and stuff, they took like the likes and stuff. Yeah, you can like. Bro, I can't do that to my page, but I've been trying to do that for the longest time and I can't do it. I, I don't think know why like, I can't do it. It just popped up on mine out of nowhere. And yeah. I think it, it I think it first popped up when I did like when I posted a video or something like that. Uh -huh. And the video really didn't get that many like, I, I it probably is like situational. Like if the video or the picture like pop, yeah. it'll be like, oh no, you ain't got it. It won't let me like, like it won't let me do it at all, bro. Like I've been trying to do it for like the past couple months, it will not let me do it. And then I think it's got something to do with like the update or whatever they got. Yeah. I know like with the different um and it's mostly like with the different phones and stuff like that mm -hmm. too. Like certain phones can do certain things and yeah. um but yeah, that's what, as far as, do you have any like new pieces and stuff that you're working on for your, uh, for your crazy bro? Like I got a whole folder on my phone. I mean, on my phone, on my laptop, bro. I just throw away stuff like shit that I, like, I could have been dropped. And I was just like, cause that's, that's like I said earlier, like I'm, a, I'm my biggest critic. Mm -hmm. like, so I'll make something with me. I'm like, oh, that's hard. And, then and then I go back to this day and I'm like, mm, put that in the throwaway. <laughs> so like on, on my thing, like I got like, I probably could drop a whole two, three collections right now and be straight for like a couple months. But it's like, I want to wait um, probably till like maybe like end of October. That's probably when I'm going to drop my next thing. Just some couple hoodies. 
Mm. So that would mean the draw. Just because it's her, it's her you see yeah. now. You know what I'm saying? So, so, you snagging her. No, yeah. Snagging. So I got some cool ideas though coming out, some shirts coming out. But it's like I haven't been getting like a, a block like over the summer because over the summer I was writing songs every day, like every day pretty much. Yeah. So it's like I wasn't yeah. worried about <laughs> I was just trying to be creative because I was in the house. Like I was just chilling. So I was trying to work on clothing and just, I just had a block. And I really haven't got out that slump yet, really, honestly. So it's like I'm still trying to work my way out of that slump and get back into the creative stuff. So now I've had that too, though, as mm -hmm. far as like where I have like certain designs and stuff like that, where I'd be like, ah, right, yeah, this going, I'm gonna throw this out there. Right. But it don't really be. It's not me really like actually putting it out there because I want to put it out there. It's just me putting it out there to try and stay like consistent with it yeah. and that's what makes me put it in the back burner like yeah I don't even want to no, it ain't yeah. no inspiration behind it. it ain't no motivation behind right. it but what somebody else told me that's like doing it bigger on another level um, he told me as far as like when it comes to those back burner projects and stuff like that make those make those one time pieces make those like right. a bit like straight one of a kind collections no because, right for sure um I think, if I'm not mistaken, that's really how that designer, uh, Eric Emanuel, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, all yeah, his yeah. stuff is like, all his is like one-time things. His website, as soon as you get on that, everything's sold out. That's, right. it. that's the last time you're going to see that, unless right, you yeah. see it in like a store or something. But like that really, that's why when it comes to like fashion and me too, putting it, that's like a side project. I feel like in order for that to pop, this gonna have to pop. Or like what you use is gonna have to pop. Right. That's really where, like I was saying earlier, like stand with that mainstream, the thing that brings you the most fame, the thing that brings you the most notoriety, do that, and then the other stuff gonna pop too. No, yeah, like, honestly, bro, I've been hearing it from like, cause like, I'm trying to think. I, I think I dropped with Ricky Bobby like two, three weeks ago. And I got so many DMs, like, you need to drop a video, blah, 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 blah. So I know off rip when I drop that video, it's going to go up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because, like, everybody like, you got the look. And I, I know I sound good because, like, the, I don't know how we do it. Like, when I tell you, bro, my first, because I recorded my homeboy room, literally. Like, mm -hmm. just the mic, mm -hmm. his computer, that's it. Like, mm -hmm. but that's where we done got the, we done got the, the recipe now where it's like all my recordings sound crystal clear. Like, it's like I'm in, like, some state of the art. Like, I'm telling you, like, my, if you heard, like, my earlier records with him, you'd be like, yeah, he just in his closet type mm -hmm. shit. But if you hear the new stuff, you like, like I, I get uh, DMs all the time, like, where you record at? Can I come record you? Like, and I'm like, yeah, nah. I don't think I'm gonna. And then, uh, then just drop it periodically. I, I, like, right now, I got two songs that I'm ready to drop, but I'm just waiting. Because I don't know if I'm just gonna drop them yet. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Now, dude, when you drop songs and stuff, is it like, are that, is, is that situation where it's just like you just drop it whenever you're done with it? You don't have any, like, Specific point when you want to drop. It. See, man, I'm so wishy washy. Like, <laughs> I had recorded this is when the day I recorded Ricky Bobby, I recorded like four other songs. Like, I'm not telling you, like, when I tell you, bro, my, my session be so quick, but I've been getting that shit done. Like, if I tell you about the recipe now, so it's mm -hmm. like, I get in, I punch in, punch in, punch in, or I just go through all of it at one time, and we'll be, it'll be two hours, and I got like four or five songs done, and I'm like, damn. So, I recorded four or five songs in that day. And I was like, all right, I'm dropping Ricky Bobby. That was like on like a Tuesday, or Monday or Tuesday. I'm like, all right, I'm dropping Ricky Bobby on third, on Friday night or Friday or whatever. So um, my plan was to drop Ricky Bobby, then drop Missy Elliott, then I got a song called then the, then the Chase, mm -hmm. and then uh, Black Hawk, and then that fifth week, all in a row, like Friday, 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 Friday. Mm -hmm. That fifth week, drop the video to Ricky Bobby. And then announce my EP at the end of the video. That's strategic. That's strategic. Right. That's but my wishy washy ass, I didn't drop <laughs> the chase. And that took back Blackhawk. I didn't even preview Blackhawk yet. So it's like, I don't know yet. We're going to see. I didn't even drop chase. I like to chase a lot, but it's like, I don't know how we're going to drop that yet. But I might just put it out there because I know people want to hear it. So, because mm -hmm. I've been getting people like, D, I've been DMs all the time. Like, can you send me this? Is my number. Can you send me the song, and I I throw it out there. I need to stop doing that for real. <laughs> hell, people, I like hell. People right now got like all unreleased music in my like different songs, which I'm not really worried about them leaking it because I'm not nobody. But right, 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 right. I need but, to start getting that mindset where I can't be throwing yeah, out songs. Like, as hey. far as like how, because and I said this on my last video too. Uh -huh. Like you are your own like 
promotion. That's yeah. where everybody got their own platform. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of people don't understand how big that platform can be. It's people out here with 10K followers just, just throwing the shit away. Not really doing nothing oh, with yeah. it. Um, but yeah, most definitely after after a while, like when she hit that certain amount, yeah. then you putting out music, but it's gonna be just like an NBA Young Boy situation. Yeah. Thirty other people got this song. No, nah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's they like, gonna be my comments like I got the song DMV. <laughs> like, that's what I want. That's what I want though. That's that's what I though. Like for real, bro. Like I already be telling my guys. Like it was one day. I think it was. I think it might have been that day I recorded it. Ricky Bobby. He was all down here. Faded as hell, and I was like, if we don't look back in a couple years, we're gonna be at somewhere way different. Because I mean, I've been to them, like, bro, y'all coming with me, like, I'm not leaving nobody behind. I mean, yeah, and I might, I might, people might see it as me, like, put my head out to the wrong people, but it's like, I know people that's in my corner is the right one, right? You know what I'm right. saying? I don't associate myself with many people, so right. if they're around me, they really with me, you know what I mean? Right. So it's like, yeah, so I'm like, bro, sink this, let's just sink in because this is gonna be the beginning of a, of a I feel that. Movie. I feel that because everybody's situation different. Like mm-hmm. everybody will be looking at you kind of crazy because you keep reaching back to people and stuff like yeah. that. But it's like you don't know what these people they've been through with me. You know exactly. what I'm saying? These people have been around for forever. No, yeah. And when I elevate, you know what I'm saying? When I upgrade, I'm gonna try and elevate, and upgrade them too. Right. And when the situation comes to that, then and then people don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Elevate, or upgrade. That's when I'm, you know, I exactly I got to distance myself from you because I'm right. trying to do something different. But it's people that be reaching back and they've been through the people who's messed up. They've been through the people. Thing, though, it's like I'm not I'm not out here giving away meal tickets. Like <laughs> if you coming with me, you working, bro. Right, you got to do something. Like Yadi, like Yadi got the uh, I think it's the sailing team or something like that. It's all his friends, but it's like they working. Like he got ex- his friends are his assistants and mm-hmm. in charge of this and that and going to get like. If you stand with, like, like if you, like, let's say, like, I, I make it or whatever the next two, three years ago. <laughs> and let's say I bring, like, Wuda, I bring Cam, I bring Dre, I, I bring all my guys, Justin, like, really? everybody, really? I, I bring all my guys. You're going to work for that bread, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm going right. to pay you, obviously. I'm going to pay you for everything else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You afloat. But you're going to work for that. I'm not getting out here giving money, like, right. only people that's like that is my girl. My mom and my sister for and sure. my pops. That's it. They didn't already put their work exactly. in. Exactly. You know like, that's it. it. They, they get money on You know? Yeah, like. But it's a lot of people that don't understand that, though. That don't know how to, like, play. And it it, it sounds it sound derogatory, but it's like, play their role. Like, yeah, exactly. if you. But that's a. Man, that is a. That's crazy you said it because that is like my. That's like my, my catchphrase, bro. Like, like, because in this world. People don't play their fucking role. And that's why we ain't eating. Who the fuck said that on a song? I think it was a Lil Durk song. He was like, uh, he said the reason why, we, no, it was G Herbo. He said the reason why we not eating is because you're not playing your fucking role. Bro, that's the and truth. That's it, because it's like, it, and it's, it goes from top to bottom. But it goes from being a homeboy, it goes from being just a girl. Because that's the biggest thing. That's my biggest pet peeve, bro. It's like, if you know, if you know what you be doing, and you're <laughs> not really like a one guy girl. Play your role in. Right. Play don't don't get mad. Don't you understand? Know you know what I'm saying? Don't, like, this thing that, makes, that, 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 that like, makes me the most mad is like, if you know what you be doing and you always do that, why are you trying to set up with me? Why are you trying to play like victim with it? Like that? Yeah, like like I'm doing something wrong. And this is all on the path. I'm just saying like, you know you didn't mess up though. That's what I'm but saying. But now you're like, you know, know, you know what like you be doing. You know you nasty. That's just be nasty. Right. So just be the best nasty <laughs> person you can be. You know what I mean? Hey, yo, but what's the name of DMA said that though? He said that in an interview, and it, it, it didn't come out until like obviously after he passed. Yeah, but he was like, uh, he said, trust. He he said trust a person to be them or something like that, but trust that you can see them. Yeah. So he was basically saying like, trust a thief to steal for you. Trust a lie to lie for you. So, you know what I'm saying? But make sure that you know that that's what they are. No, for sure. So, that's that's crazy, but that's like my thing. Like, <laughs> play your role. Like play your role. Everything ain't gonna be smooth, but right. you're out here trying to get into other people's lanes, and that's when that's that's what's messing you up. You know, you know or and just to reference somebody else, uh, Kevin Gates mm-hmm. and Nipsey said this too as well. He said, uh, "I'm I'm in my own lane and I hog it. I ain't trying to get nobody else shit. But don't think you finna hop my shit and get exactly." To, like trying to move shit around. No, you know, for real. Work like that. That's real. That's for sure. Right there. For sure. Right. But earlier, before we before we got on camera, we was talking about the whole football journey and stuff like that. So, 
your experience with football, like I said, everybody's experience is different, mm -hmm. but your experience with football was different, like really different, because yeah. like usually when people come straight out of like high school, they go straight to college and finish playing. Yeah. You kind of stop like right there at that. Yeah. After after high school, so like, yeah. talk to us about that. Like, what 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 made you want to stop playing football? Because I, I mean, just, you got the height, honestly. Too, no, yeah. you being honest, you got no, the height. Yeah, I had all the tangibles, man. Like I told you, going into my senior year, I was looked at from a lot of FCS schools. I won't say a lot. I don't want to jack myself up. From a decent amount of FCS schools, a handful of <laughs> FCS schools, some pretty big D two schools, stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, but I just had lost love for it, man. Like I just. It wasn't what I wanted to do. I saw myself being bigger than football. Okay. At a, you know, before all this, like before I could even really see where I was going to be at. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Even right now. Um, but uh, like I was telling you, it's like I'm very spiritual and I'm, I'm very um, in tune with myself. So mm -hmm. with me feeling like uneasy about something, especially football, something I've been in love with since I was like, so I can remember. Yeah. And it was me being feeling uneasy about it. I'm like, yeah, something's really not right. And that's when I had to take a step back and really investigate what I was doing and why I was doing it. And in, in terms of, am I playing for me? Or am I playing for other people? Am I playing for other people? Am I playing to make other people happy? And that's where I, that was the key was that I was playing to, to aid in other people's dreams and what they wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. Because they knew I could do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I told you, like this very, it very well could have been me at a D1 school or a exactly. D2 school balling right now. But what I've been happy is that that's, that's exactly. the thing I was and thinking that's, about. That's really what matters. That's yeah. really what matters. So I made a decision after my senior year. Got a couple. Uh, so I stopped playing junior year, in the junior year, um, went into my senior year, went back and played, got a couple D two offers and looks and stuff like that. Ended up going, committing to Quincy, then signed to Quincy. Called him up, was like, mm, not feeling that no more. <laughs> Took the year off of uh, eligibility and. Uh, I'm up, at, I'm up at Mizzou just chilling, man. Going to school, living life, having fun. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that. Like that's that's what the whole like that's what it was for me. Like when we got when we got to Quincy, yeah. and I was I was sticking with it for a minute. You know what I'm saying? I was feeling it. Yeah. I was in it. Like, but it's some shit I've been trying to do since I was a kid. Right. Like, I didn't made it. Like, this is where I'm at. But then it was like, but I feel like this is a this is a thing with like everybody though. Not 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 everybody, but everybody feels like this at a certain point. Like. Mm -hmm. You sit over here, you pray for something, you know, and you work towards it, mm -hmm. and then you get into it, and you forget that you prayed for it. You, you no, forget for that sure. you worked for it back then. Yeah. And this is what all of this is for. Mm -hmm. But what was more important at that time for me, not realizing what I, this is what I've been praying for, this is what I've been waiting for, but really realizing like, yeah, I didn't got here, but am I happy? Right. Is this something that I really want to do? Is the the stuff that I'm sacrificing is worth it, right. and that's that's real for sure. Because it's like that uneasy feeling, you know. It's 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 scary. Cause like I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna cap when I had decided to be done with it. Cause like I said, it's something I've been trying to do for years. Oh yeah. It it kind of hurt it a little bit, and I ain't even gonna lie. The, the the day that I had decided to like come to terms with it, I cried about shit. I did oh, straight sure. up, straight oh, up, shit. but. Yeah, I definitely feel that. Like that's for when they say everything, like especially football, especially sports, comes to an end for everybody. Yeah. It that's that's definitely true, and it's not gonna be everybody got their own. You know what I'm saying? Where they gonna stop it? Where they yeah. Gonna, everybody gonna be done at some point. You know? No. Nah, yeah. Right. I think it's just uh, I think the smoke and mirrors went away from me real early. In terms of like, I seen kind of like the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. I knew it wasn't what I wanted it to be. You mm -hmm. know, for me being a little kid, like I want to go to NFL. That wasn't happening for me. I knew that wasn't. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm a realist. Like I'm, a, and I'm a blunt person. And if you know me, you know that. Like I don't really hold no punches. So I kind of like was had like one on one with myself. And was like, yeah. if you're looking to go this way, you're really not gonna have. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like be real with yourself. Like come on, day. bro. And that's what it's like. My biggest thing too. One, another one of my pet peeves is just like. You got these guys, and there's nothing wrong with this, to work hard, but you got these guys that are going to like, and I'm not going to pay for this, and I really don't care that much. Uh, you got these guys that are going to like D2, D3, NAIA schools, 
no biggie. I mean, they're going to school for football, mm-hmm. but they're working so damn hard, and it's like there's no the chance of you getting from that NAIA school to the league is even smaller than like one percent because niggas in like that's going D one. It's like one percent of them go to the league. Yeah, it's only like a good. It's double digits, but it never gets to like. The point where it's like it's like feasible, you know what I mean? Right, like it's just like it's just happening. And usually the thing is that it's so funny to me is like it'll be a dude that goes from the NAIA to NFL, but like if you go back and look at him, he's like a five star recruit went to a JUCO. Exactly. Guy. Like it's a whole bunch of stipulations. His that dad, that. his dad played in the NFL. Yeah, yeah like his yeah, uncle like, played in the NFL. He was meant for that. Right, his mm-hmm. mom played college and basketball. They'll, they'll right. just only talk about he's from the NAIA, but they won't talk about he was like a five star recruit, got in trouble, like all this other yeah, stuff. Yeah, that he went into himself. Yeah, yeah, like <laughs> he was supposed to go D one. He wasn't supposed to be NAIA. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But I just wish that like just as just just talking about black man period like. Football isn't the only sports, isn't the only option for us. Yep. Like, and selling ain't the only option. Like, all that, like, there's a whole bunch of other shit. If you like fashion, go for fashion. If you like music, be creative. Go for it. Like, and that's what's really so many people that's like in our community that just be trying to like downplay. Like, like I'll be seeing them little memes like, uh, some of y'all can't rap. Like, why you gotta hate? Like, like it, it don't really, like, don't everybody, you know what everybody got their own little outlet. Let them just do what they wanna do and right. have fun. You know what right. I'm saying? That's the right. biggest right. thing is that everybody over here looking at everybody else's paper. You need work, you need to go, you know what I'm saying? social media before they brush their hands. You need to worry about yourself, man. <laughs> you gotta, like, hey, that's why I never understood is, like, especially in St. Louis, if you got, if you hating, like, just be quiet. Like, you don't gotta like, tell Like, keep that to yourself. Yeah, like, yeah. you can go ahead. Like, I be hating. Everybody <laughs> hates. I be hating my ass off. But do I go on social media and talk right, about it? Right, bro. Leave that lead, because you never, like, even though the social media platform and the outlet is just as, like, it's, especially Instagram and Facebook, I'm not even gonna lie. Them two, Together is very negative and yep. derogatory themselves. Yep. But you never know, like other people might not have anything else. That's probably all they got. Yeah, so man. what they doing on there is what's, is what's making them happy. So it's like if you sitting over here, you hating on what they got going on. What they be? They selling, they selling stones or you know what I'm saying? They got facial cream or whatever yeah. they doing. And you saying sitting over here hating on that? That's gonna bring them down, and yeah. then that's gonna ultimately mess up their whole world. They like. Shit. Not for real. I support like, anybody that's working hard, man. Okay. Regardless of what you're doing, man. I don't okay. care what your, whatever your hustle is. If you put 110 into it, I support you. I don't mean. I'm not saying I mess with it. Like, <laughs> you people out here be having like clothing lines. I ain't gonna name no names, but it's some clothing lines out here. I'm just be like, that's not cool with me. But I fuck with you because you really pushing. Yeah, you really, you, you really, really pushing. Really really that's all I ask for is just to put 110 into it. That's right. what I want to see. Right, right. You right. Actually right. try to grind and try to be somewhere and be somebody, mm-hmm. not just. Being content because it's only people doing what everybody like, else doing and shit. So. Yeah, and it'd it be like people just be like content with just being mediocre or average. Like, go be better than average. You know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. try. Worst that could happen is you fail. That's exactly it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I go by. Like with anything, man. So where does your where does your form of like creativity come from? From because I know everybody's environment is what like dictates their. What they, how they feel and their creativity and the things that they see, like I said earlier, is what right. kind of shapes your whole reality. Right. So being from St. Louis, and it's a lot of like, it's a handful of people that's actually like this, but being from St. Louis and doing the things that you do now with your different flow, your clothing lines, right. like that, where did that creativity come from? Because it's not a lot of people in St. Louis that do, that have that flow like you got. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have that, that creativity as far as the images that you see and the vision right. that you see for your clothing brand. So like where does where does that creativity come from? Uh I probably couldn't really pinpoint it exactly, but I know it really comes from it just stems from like my parents. Like my pops are from the Bay Area, he's from San Francisco. So and then my mom, she's like an army brat. So she was mm-hmm. like she lived in Germany, New York, mm-hmm. uh, St. Louis. Well that's where she was born in St. Louis, whatever and everything. But um it just goes from that and like they just never really put like no no restrictions on it. Like I got friends like their parents are in their pocket on everything that they, that they mm-hmm. do. Even as of like now, like we're twenty years old, you still tell them what to do. Like right. my parents never been like that. Like I never had a bedtime. I never had none of that stuff. It's just like they kind of just they 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 raised me as a as an adult type of thing. Not like as an adult, but like they gave me responsibility into myself. Yeah. And I feel like just uh, them being just from like. Places that 
are kind of total opposites. I've right. seen different spectrums. Like my mom, she loved West, I mean East Coast hip hop, like old school Wu Tang Clan, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. My dad, he's a huge E Forty head. That's his favorite <laughs> rapper. So it's like just taking stuff like that and like just melting, uh, melting it together, and then me being born in St. Louis, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like all that come together is just my environment. Like you said, it's like I just been, I had the right mixture. I feel like it's just mm -hmm. different. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. that's why I describe myself as it's just different. Okay. You know what I mean? So. That's probably where I came from, really. You, you, you really was outside then, nigga. You said you ain't had no bedtime or nothing. Nah, no, it's like, it's just like, just stuff like that. Cause I hear my friends like, oh, I had to be asleep. Like, you know, when you little, they be like, oh, I had to be asleep at seven last. I'm like, yeah, I was up to like seven o'clock at night. Like, yeah, that's, that's late for little kids. Like, totally late for little kids. But you know, well, that's like the day still young. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, stuff like that. Like, they just never. They kind of gave me responsibility and, and, and showed me like the repercussions of. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was time when I was little, I stayed up like super late, like watching cartoons on like Cartoon mm -hmm. Network. And I wake up sleepy as hell, but I gotta go to school. Like, it's, you're not staying home. home. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like fucking overnight. Yeah, yeah like, what's your She was like, my mom used to be like, I don't know what you thought this was. Like, you're going to school. <laughs> I don't know what, what you thought was gonna happen. I don't straight think you was like that because we used to do it all night. Yeah, for real. But no. that's that's pretty much where my, my creativity really came from. I gotta give it to my parents for sure. Cause they never like really gave me no barriers. It's just like mm -hmm. the world is yours. My dad always told me he was like, man, if you wanna, if you was done for all tomorrow, you wanna go pick up a piccolo and go play that. We're gonna go get you the best piccolo and the best we instructor. Go right, follow right. you, whatever. Like, and that's what it's about, bro. Yeah, that's, like that's my parents support me tenfold, and I, I, I'm so gracious about that. That's mm -hmm. why I owe them so much. Like, mm -hmm. I can't wait to be able to just uh, sharing my my fruits of my labor with them. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah, that's right. real shit though. And uh, yeah, so as far as jumping back into our our EP. Uh -huh. Do we have Do we have a name for it? Not like yet. That? Not yet. I, I gotta think of something cool though. Something mm -hmm. real smooth. Something real player. That's my That's my thing. Okay. Man, so okay. Something okay. smooth. Well, shit. There. I mean, there you go. Right there. Some real player. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That That could be the name. Not right there. Some real player. Like, that could be the name. I'm not good with naming stuff though. Like <laughs> that's why. Like if, if you ever notice, bro. Like I think I've only made two or three songs that have a hook or a chorus. Mm -hmm. I can't think of stuff like that. That's one like one of my biggest things, and that's like what I need to work on because. Usually songs like that, you gotta have a catchy chorus or a hook to get people to like it. And with my songs, I'll be just one takes. So it's like, I just go through from start to finish and be done. Now, I don't like, them chorus songs, like the hook songs be cool, uh -huh. but when G Herbo just straight, just straight snap on the beat, just yeah. straight go in, don't stop, don't say that's nothing. That's what I'm saying though. That's hard. Like, yeah, but it's like, that's hard. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like, them, the songs that just blow up, just from my experience, like just off of like guys like having no name to a name, mm -hmm. usually be them songs that got like a catchy hook or like a funny hook or a funny bar or something like that. So I'm trying to make the hardest shit I can make. Cause like, mm -hmm. I, like I was talking about earlier, like when like how I make what I like. The songs I make, like I love the songs that I make. Mm -hmm. So I, I really don't even be really paying attention to what other people say. But now that I'm kind of trying to take this like more serious, I kind of have to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like, because like, my, my shit, I'm like, this, this shit is crazy. crazy. <laughs> no, for real, like, I'm like, damn, like this shit really slapping. Like, but, um, but that's like, really, like, what's, I kind of elevated my pen in terms of like me getting better at writing and freestyling and stuff, just because I, I'm like, okay, this is what they like. They like this stuff. They like this style. They like these words. Like, you know, these kind of bars. Like, yeah. So right. it's like, yeah. So um, I'm really just trying to blow up the St. Louis first. That's the that's the that's the, the key thing because you love St. Louis, you can love anywhere. Real talk because St. Louis is so hard. St. Louis is a hard city. It's really so is. hard. Like only people can be breaking like fifty thousand to a hundred thousand views like consistently is like Amor mm -hmm. Dijo. Sometimes, especially with that still alive song, he just dropped this crazy. I gotta listen to it. I ain't listen bro. When I tell you that song, Dijo is so cold. <laughs> but, but two bucks. Foes occasionally he used to always hit like at least on FK. Foes, but race the like Monster Gang. All the Monster Gang been going crazy recently. You so. see, that's 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 crazy because I don't hear a lot of people talking about that. Well, Monster Gang, them niggas be going in. No, those are my guys, especially man. Es especially right rocking them. them niggas be going in. They used to rock with my big brother R.P. Ken, man. Yeah. My little Ken. Yeah. So with that situation, mm -hmm. did that affect your? music or your 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 clothing at all like i know that's that's like a kind of like a life altering situation yeah but and it may be like a touchy topic but do you feel like you would 
you would incorporate that into your music or incorporate sure. that into your I, I got a song coming out, and I say in the song, I say, well, I'm on Cammy every song, I'm smoking goop, this shit's so good, because you're mm. a big goop smoker, so. Mm. I love my brother, Man of Death. That's my, that's like really my, he was like really one of my first idols besides my dad, because he was like just so cool to me. Okay. Like, Yes. Yeah, so. Your your brother though was like a he he was a big time hooper exactly. No, nah, he needs to go, man. Yeah. Ain't nobody touch like when I tell you ain't nobody touch my big brother, I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, like, like that's like cause I ain't even gonna get into it, but he really liked that like if some shit didn't happen, he would be in the league right now, mm-hmm. right next to Jason and right next to Brad mm-hmm. on my life. So we're gonna keep it at that and I'm just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Real talk. Um shit. But back to our back to our EP. Uh-huh. Now do we got do we got like a a track number with how many how many songs can we expect on? Uh, for real, for real, man, it's just really depending on how I'm feeling, man. Cause I've been getting in this groove. This groove I've been I've been in recently writing music, man. It could be anywhere from five to like 10, 15 songs, man. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Um uh, if the motherfucking moon and the stars <laughs> and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like if everything lines up, right, everything feeling right, right, it could be it could be up to 10, 15 songs, up to. Um, that's a stretch, but like I said, if we get the right time, you know, we, we still college students and stuff like that. So yeah, he, you know, he a senior too. I've been recording with my producer and stuff like that. Guap, oh, yeah. So he, you know, he got capstone stuff like that mm-hmm. to worry about. But we be trying to find out, like, you know, anytime like two, three hour pockets, we can just pop up and record okay. real quick and stuff like that. So I'm a suit for five to seven. Anything more than that is a plus, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So do you now with the. The EPs. I know another guy. Uh, shout out Big Dezo. He just dropped his the other day. Mm-hmm. He, the way he explained it is that he dropped his EP. I think he said he did. He was gonna do twelve songs at first, uh-huh. but he broke it down and did it only six. Mm-hmm. He said that that would make the 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 songs more appreciated. Yeah. But do you see yourself? You said five or seven. Yeah. Do you see yourself starting a whole like? Because I mentioned this to him too. Starting just a, a wave right now, of uh-huh. going back and doing a deluxe of your EP. Man, now you talking my language, man. <laughs> you know, I'm good for the whole day. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, if I'm just, I don't know. If I ain't really doing too much that day, yeah. then I'll probably be straight with just having something to drink if I just snap yeah. up and shit. But if I'm just moving around constantly, like I gotta have something to eat, but no, I man. don't be eating for real. <laughs> I don't eat, but I, I, I eat like, I say I'd probably eat like, like today I'd probably eat at, I'd probably eat when you leave, so probably like 5, 5.30. Yeah. And I, I just eat, eat like, I eat like so much food, but I eat like a big ass, I eat like a pizza, I eat like Parmesan bread bites or something. <laughs> like, you know, some bread sticks or something. Yeah. I eat like, I eat the whole thing and be good for like, till the next morning. And then I'd be hungry in the morning, I'd be like, I don't really want to eat yet. Eat you know what fucked me up though? What? Oh uh, no, nah, yeah, yeah. no, nah, that's that's, that's one thing. Yeah. I, that's one thing. Like if I'm not gonna blow like that day, sometime I just I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna wait till after I smoke because like I already know like you'll eat, <laughs> you'll smoke, like I'm hungry. Yeah, bro, what the hell? I don't get that so many times, bro. Yeah, I mean, that's just like me, man. I'm like, bro, I'm not gonna spend thirty dollars in like the uh, course of like two hours. I'm right, like, bro. Like, like, no, I can't do that shit. I gotta yeah. eat. I gotta eat. Or I like I come here and make like a sandwich or some shit. Or like eat like PB and J sandwich mm-hmm. or something. Something just to fill me up mm-hmm. type shit for the time period. Mm-hmm. So jumping back into our EP conversation, yeah. What I think you was talking about the idea of doing a doing a deluxe for your EP and yeah. you go back in and do it. Yeah, uh shit. I mean, as of right now I got I think I got I think I have three, two or three songs ready to go, like ready to be on the EP. I wanna say three. Three songs ready to go on the EP. So it just really depends on the next couple of weeks how it goes. Cause I wanna have my EP kind of finalized by like middle of November. So that we can just go back. Let's do it again a couple times and then have it ready to go and have a release date on probably like the first two weeks of December, probably something like that. So okay. uh, if I can get, mm, I'd say at least eight more songs recorded in that time period, I'll probably release like five or five or something like that, like five on the regular and then five more on the deluxe type okay. of thing or something like that. So that is, or I could be like, it might be like a part one, part two type of thing too. So okay. it was just my idea that I had, but it's all new to me, bro. Like I don't really, I don't know what EP <laughs> is, but it's just, people release it. You know I don't what even mean? know what like what the EP thing stands for because I know that's like that's got to stand for something like the, yeah. just the legend. It's like it's like editorial project or something like that or like something like this, something like that where it's like just like it's not a mixtape, it's not an album, it's like just a little collection of songs you've been working on, like just mm-hmm. like what you've been working on type of thing. So okay. 
But everybody wanted one, so I'm like, might as well. And I, I have, like I told you, I got a little throwaway song, so I'm like, we just put some of them on there. Because my throwaways be like my best songs, but I just don't be liking them. I don't know why. Like, Are you going for like a certain, well, you said you're not like no situational rapper, so everything. So are you, when it comes to your EP that you're yeah. going to drop, is there a storyline behind it? Do you have like Yeah, uh, well, three of the songs, three songs I got right now are based off of Scarface. Mm. So it's like we got simple. It's gonna be my EP gonna be very simple heavy. So if you know like Scarface, you should know these like the samples in there. Mm. And then like we have like a little like um, audio parts of the uh, of the movie in there. Okay. Scarface is like one of my biggest influences in terms of like uh, cinematic stuff. Rocks in the gold for real, for real. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Literally, uh, and and just grew like a became a giant. And it's like. That's how I be feeling like, well, I ain't start off with all this confidence. I ain't start off with all this like clout, I guess you could mm -hmm. call it. I just start off with none of this stuff. Like I've been building this, like I've been working this up, you know what I'm saying? Getting in tune with myself and that just kind of shows to other people. And that's why people attract to me type of thing. So it's like, I'm building myself up in the same way, not the same way, but in the same way. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So it's like, I, I aspire to be like that where I want to be the biggest. I want to be the, in whatever I do. It don't gotta be music. It don't gotta be fashion. It could be whatever. I just want to be that guy. That's right. all I want. That's all I'm worried about. Just being right. him. That's why I call myself I'm him. <laughs> Cause I really am him. Just not yet. How many? I'm gonna sound like a, a straight doof for this <laughs> shit. But how many? Is there more than one Scarface movie? Or no, just one. Just, just one. one. It's a man. That movie is crazy. You gotta watch it. I've watched it, uh -huh. but I've seen like. Bits and pieces of it. You gotta watch it all together. I've seen it a couple of times. The main, reason, it. the main reason why I thought that it was more than one uh -huh. is because the beginning of the movie, I think it, it talks about like how he came up, like yeah. where he where, where he came from. But I for it to start right there and then to see where it ended at, I feel like there was a whole lot of shit that was in between. Man, there. that movie is and crazy. that movie just like long as hell. It's so long as shit. Yeah. That's, see, that's why like, I thought it was more than one. I'm not a really big movie person, like. It can, it can, like unless it's like a seasonal thing, like the Grinch, I can sit and watch the Grinch, the Polar Express. <laughs> like that's like my channel. Like I always watch that shit. But no like doubt, no doubt. I'm not like no big movie person. Only movies I can sit and watch over and over again, like from start to finish, is Django Unchained, Scarface, Talladega Nights, and probably Step Brothers. Those are Step only Brothers four movies happened. I can watch Step from start to finish, like over and over again. Like I watch. I damn near watched Jay Wanna Chain this summer like four or five times, bro. In just a two month span. Now, for me, I can't, I don't know. When I was younger, I used to watch movies back to back like that. Yeah. But now it's like, I think I got older, I can't watch movies more. Yeah, I, I hate movies, bro. If it's like, it's if it's like a throwback movie. movie, like Rush Hour, I'll watch the shit out of Rush Hour. Oh, yeah, I ain't saying that. That's a good idea. I'll watch the shit out of Rush Hour. I grew up on Rush Hour. Cars, I sit over and watch the shit out of Cars. Cars are too. Star Wars. I fuck with Frozen. That's my shit. Bro, <laughs> Frozen, that shit is hardest. Bro, when I tell you, bro, this shit is so hard, bro. I ain't seen the second one. But the first one, the, the second one was actually kind of good, though. I like the second one more than I like the first one. It had more of a storyline. The too. Let It Go, bro. And then Olaf. You talking about Let It Go? The Olaf like, hardest shit. Bro. Olaf, my funny motherfucker. If I get a chain, I'm getting the Olaf chain, bro. Oh, That's me. Like, That'll be hard. Olaf, funny as fuck, bro. But, yeah, like, Cars, Rush Hour. Uh, some classics. I like Shrek too. Star Wars. Shrek, I ain't seen it in a minute, but I will rewatch a Shrek. Shrek. The first one. Oh, it's like my favorite one though. The first mm -hmm. one. That was mm -hmm. good. But, um, shit. I don't even know how we got onto the topic of movies though. <laughs> I was talking about my EP. Yeah, so it's gonna be real sample heavy. So the first three got samples from Scarface, and then he's still making some of the other beats. So we're gonna see what they sample. I think okay. I had a. Um, I said it was something. I can't remember what it was. It was like some old game. I can't remember. I mean, and I'll be sending them stuff too. I don't put, I'm going to tell you after this what I got a sample coming out of, and it's going to be crazy. Mm. It's going to be a crazy sample that nobody even got yet. Not yet. But they're going to, it's something that's like real popular right now. But okay. It's going to okay. be hard. I got him in the works of doing that right now. Um, I would just be sending them like random stuff like, I'd be sending him like childhood, like TV show theme mm. songs and stuff yeah, like that. That's just, uh, that really make the beat harder though, exactly. right for like throwing that stuff. Cause I done heard a handful of songs that have had that stuff in it. The yeah. beat, beat, song be straight I mean, hard as hell. No, that's why uh, on the chase I had, I had that, that beat is made by Elvis Beats. He's a New York producer, or he makes New York drill beats. And that nigga, he bro, he can sample anything. He sampled like on the chase. It was Tokyo Drift. That's why I song called the chase. Cause 
type Pro- shit. But producers and like studio engineers are so underrated. They so man. they so bro like man. That's why I like Guap, not my boy Guap so much, bro, because he just he'll anything I say, but he like let's do it, let's try, it. we, we mm-hmm. can try at least like. Because they really be trying to craft themselves, like they really learning themselves too. Exactly. Well. That's what like me and Guap, we've been doing this together. Like I met him my sophomore year, like right when I got down here through a friend of mine, and like when I tell you, bro, like my music wasn't that good, his mixing wasn't that good when we first linked up. Mm-hmm. And we could just see the growth just through my songs. It's just like, we just yeah, like, just yeah. And we now, like I said, now we got the recipe. Like, every time I go in there, bro, I know it's going to be some fire when I, as soon as mm-hmm. I record it. You know, like, like, I got the other song I recorded off of, um, you know who he is? You remember that song? Was like, this song already was turned away. Here's a bell. You remember that off of, like, TikTok? Have you ever heard of that? Uh, uh, what's his the white name? The, the name sound familiar. Yeah, it's like, this white. He might be white or Mexican or something like that. He hard to sell, too, but. Um, he got this song called Money Twerk, and it's this beat. His beat in that song was crazy. So I had Guap take the beat, slow it down, I think, or speed it up, and then reverse it. Mm. And I rather that. And I really wasn't even feeling that song, but I recorded it, and I was like, this shit kind of hard. Man. But is that the is that the mind frame for every beat that you come in contact with, doing something different with it? Yeah, because like because that really makes. Everybody could be rapping off the same damn beat. Yeah. Honestly, the truth is, wouldn't nobody know. No, yeah, like, that's a big part of me. Is like, I just don't like doing the same shit that everybody else like. Or if I do, I gotta do it my way. Like, mm. when I did the uh, beatbox remix or whatever, the freestyle or whatever, I was like, well, beatbox is from Florida. Like, the dude speaking to us, Slime Guy was from Florida. Mm. Nobody up here has done that yet. Mm-hmm. On no high speed shit. Mm-hmm. So why not put some high speed shit mm-hmm. on that shit? Yeah, and that's that what I'm trying to be like. I put I put some high speed shit on the New York Drill song because I'm trying to. I am trying to elevate high speed shit like St. Louis shit because nobody really doing. I be doing the same beats. I be always doing like push shaking type beats and early chopper type beats, which just sounds dope as fuck. Like, <laughs> I fuck with, like the niggas that like start that shit like I don't know. I'm not gonna say who started because I don't know. Make nobody mad. Right. Like that. But yeah, niggas that started that. it like that shit. Like, oh, those type beats makes it harder, but it's like, you can take them same flows and put it on different beats and it's gonna sound 10 times hard. Like, that New York shit was crazy. When I was putting it, I'm like, what the fuck? Punch me in. Punch, punch me in. Just keep punching me in. Just, keep, me just, keep, yeah, just keep doing it. Like, I'm gonna make sure it's right. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah, I always try to do something different. Like, I'm always, like, 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 like I told you, like, the scrub, like, TLC, like, I'm, I'm just trying to just put my hand in everything. Like, mm-hmm. just trying to see what I like the most. Cause like I said, I don't really got no style yet. And I know it's like, that's how you kind of elevate you get a style, but I feel like it's gonna be the opposite for me. And that's gonna, what's gonna propel me further. I don't know, like sticking to, like I said, when we was talking, like, I feel like you can tell when people start to get their fame and get their notoriety, right. yeah. trying to stick to one thing is, I feel like for real, for real, I don't know if this is just me, like certain rappers, when they start rapping about certain stuff, like they stop, or when they start to get their, you know what I'm saying, their fame or their notoriety for how they was rapping at first, right. they stop rapping like that. No, so yeah. like, I feel like you, like you said, sticking in that, you just putting your hand in every every pot, you know what I'm yeah. saying, making sure you stand versatile, because that's really how you're gonna win, that's what's gonna set you apart, because you can't just, you don't just go in on highway, on high speed beats, you yeah. know what I'm saying? You can get on a Detroit beat. No, nah, yeah, that's my shit too, bro. Detroit flow. I need to get back on that shit because yeah. my first, I dropped the, I dropped the EP last fall mm. called it wasn't shit talking. It was like lit talking. That's what it was. Damn, I, I really <laughs> forgot about that shit. I listened to that shit hellish, but because it wasn't like like I told you, my quality. That was like when I first started recording with my boy Guap. Mm-hmm. So like, if I really grew went back and we recorded that shit, it probably would be even better. But that's all I was to like. I want to say the la- last summer or two summers ago, sophomore year, that's all it was, was like Detroit shit. Like, real young OG, he like one of my biggest influences too because he just be talking crazy. Like, he just say whatever you want to say. He just cold. I think earlier you mentioned that you have some songs that you don't like. Mm-hmm. Do you like, is this some songs that you record and just never go back and listen to? Yeah. Yeah, I got some songs. I got some songs that like, Man, I got some songs that I done privated on my SoundCloud just because that's how bad I don't like them. <laughs> like, I really just don't fuck with them. But, like, I know that they're good. Like, my friends like them. And that's, like, what like, well, all this shit started off from. I wasn't rapping to release the shit. I was rapping just to send to my friends because mm-hmm. we was like, I like rapping. Like, they knew mm-hmm. I like the rapping. They like to listen to it. 
So I got some songs that are like garbage, bro. Like ass. Like you can tell from freshman year to now, my pen has gotten 20 times better. But like, do you feel like those songs have some potential? It's just you wanting more for yourself and you, you know what I'm uh, saying? You, you being your biggest critic, like you said earlier. Yeah, I think if I went back and re recorded and rewrote some of those bars a little bit better. Because sometimes when you're rapping, bro, or writing, you kind of get to a point where it's like, you just trying to be like, you got like three tough ass bars, you just trying to get this last bar so you can get to the next like flow. And sometimes that shit, like you just getting that last little bar in there, you just kind of like, well, this bullshit it, put something in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then like that fucks up the whole rest of the song, yeah, or like that yeah. fucks up just that part because they're just like, uh, you had, you almost had, like you had, like you almost went four for four and you fucked up that last one. And it kind of just like fucked it up. That's how my brain went to me. It's like, I've been hearing this all the time. Like, recently, Lil Wayne just dropped a song called, I think it's Your Dig or something like that. And it's like his old, like, his, like it's like Carter 3, Carter 4 vibes. And he was like, I'm colder than a polar bear's toenail. And I was like, <laughs> That was not it. could have came up with something better, way better than that, Wayne. But it's just like, I don't know. I, I, I be, like, I, I'm hard on myself. Music wise, for sure, be just because, like, like I told you, like, saying, like, and like you know, St. Louis is hard to go up in, so you can't even just release mm -hmm. anything. You gotta really put some time into it. Yeah, you gotta, like, yeah. because Cause they gonna critique the fuck. Yeah, out of and it's like, these, like, these niggas that I be listening to, like, race, I'm like, they gotta be putting hours in the, in the, in the, in the booth, but at the same time, I feel like they be doing this shit just off of just, like, mm -hmm. effortless. Just, and it's like, I feel like I be working so hard sometimes, but, like, the shit I got coming on, on the BEP, I freestyle two songs. Like, and I ain't never done that before. I don't freestyle, like, just going to booth and just punch in. I don't do that. Mm. So, like, this is some new shit for me, too. So, and yeah. I fuck with him. I was fried as shit when I was recording it, so that's why I feel like it was so hard. I ain't even gonna lie. Like, I ain't no, I ain't no rapper or nothing like that. I yeah. know for a fact that I couldn't just, like, do this shit just, like, in my right mind. Uh -huh. But when I be fried, I be freestyle. Nah, <laughs> yeah, like, bro, I got some shit, bro, like, the shit that's coming out, it, it's it's some shit that I like. I might just release us off of like I'm dropping this on some random shit. Mm -hmm. It's some shit that really got some some move to it. Like mm -hmm. my 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 thing is like no matter what type of beat I'm using, it's gonna have that same bounce to it. Like I always tell my like my BPM is like one of fifty three or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's just how fast the tempo is. Mm -hmm. And if it's anywhere in that tempo, I'm killing that shit. If it's anything else, like I'm gonna have to slow it down. Like when I get on that cheap keep shit, when I'm fried, I'm like really. Wild in that bitch, just talking my shit. But when I get on that 150 to 155 BPM, it's over. Like, I'm really gonna go crazy on that bitch. Like, and BPM is beats per minute? Or yeah, like, beats per minute. Okay. Yeah. So that's like the tempo of the beat, how fast that bitch going. Okay. So, yeah. Is it, do you feel like it's, when you when you freestyled on those two songs, do you uh -huh. feel like you kind of stepped outside of your, like, oh man, you know, creative creative knots a little bit yeah, off. Sure, that was so out of the ordinary. Did it take you longer that. to do it or did it like, Oh, that shit took me like, honestly, bro, my writing don't take me that long no more. Like if I'm like really feeling the beat, writing only take me like maybe 20 to 30 minutes, mm -hmm. but like fully, like from start to finish. If I just sit down and write, write a song right now. But freestyling, that song took like, I think both of them songs took, I wanna say 10 to 15 minutes probably, mm -hmm. max. And that's just with me like, I punch in for like, let's say thirty seconds to forty five seconds, and I stop. Like, let me hear it. And that's when the pause is included. Yeah, too. I took the headphones off, listen to it. Like, okay, okay. Then I like write a little bit, probably down. Or, like, I'm like writing down ideas or something like that. I'm like, all right, punch it back in, put the headphones back in, do thirty four, thirty or thirty to forty uh five seconds, and like you'll hear it in a song. You'll hear me like. I start laughing in that bitch because I'm like really geeked up, like I'm really like <laughs> fucked up. So like I'm in there laughing and shit like. Then I hear, I think some else part, and I start saying that, and I start laughing again. Like, I was really just in there just flowing. Like, it was just like, just all coming at the same time. So, mm -hmm. it was just a vibe. That was, that was a good session. It was like raining too. It was like, <laughs> that's my that's my weather too. So, yeah, it was just like, it was everything was lined up. Yeah, it was yeah, like raining, raining, cool. Like, it wasn't like hot or nothing. Like, it was just a good day. Motherfucking wood. Mm -hmm. It was raining outside. No, nah, for real, man. No, no, no wood. No wood. We don't smoke the wood. We smoke papers and cones, man. And, and king palms, man. What's 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 wrong with the woods? It's not good for you, Brody. You feel I I I kind of somewhat I've kind of somewhat gotten away from the woods. You can't you can't be doing that, man. I I'll allow Rello. I Dutchess only though. I don't smell nothing else but Dutchess. But woods, it's like a it's like a celebration thing for me. Like it's like yeah, a birthday. I, 
Or like you a, might be right. You might be right. You know what I'm saying? You might be right. Because there's like two. This is the thing. I don't know who y'all are or like how much money y'all be getting, but I only want to spend $8 on a pack of woods and then only like one of them is good. I'm not feeling that. <laughs> look, look, hey, look, the only time I'm going to Amazon and buy me a motherfucking 32 pack of King Pong and bro. one of those good. So it's like, bro. what you really want to do? And the King Pong, like, I'm going to show you right now, bro. These King Pong, bro. These 3G King Pong. 3G. Same thing as the bag of bro. Just, and then like the you just break it down. I think I, it's a pre roll. They got some bamboo ones like that yeah. too. I think yeah. I might actually look into that now. King Palm is a is a clean way to smoke, bro. Man, I just not, I don't like tobacco. You not you like you not capping with that though. Like you buy you buy a five pack of woods for like five dollars, six dollars. Yeah. And only two or three of them motherfuckers be good in the pack. Bro, I done had a pack. I done seen my homeboys. They'll get they'll get like two packs and they'll be like, yeah, this the one. And I'm like, what's about the other ones? They're like, oh no. Cause you be getting them mugs, bro, and it's like the main problem be it, it, it either be a stem going straight. Cause I don't use the whole backwood. Like I, everybody got their own way of crafting the backwood right. or whatever. But like the way I do mine is like the end where it's just like like a straight slant at the end. I cut that off right. and use the part that's got the little curve at the end. Cause that give me a little bit more room to roll right. up. That's like my pocket for the weed. You know, right. like roll it up in there like that, and then it be like a straight clean cut at the end. So it's, you can just. You know what I'm saying? Roll it up and it'd be just like a regular like paper or some shit. Yeah, for sure. But every now and then it's like you got a stem going through that little middle part right there where you put the gas in. Or the the wood be stale or it'd be hard or something yeah. like that. And okay, I I can I I can see that. It's just bad for you, but like tobacco, bro, that's just so bad for you, bro. Like if you smoking off rip, you already tarnishing your lungs. You know what I'm saying? Just inhaling any type of smoke is bad for you. But at the same time, you went outside, breathing outside, that's bad for you too. Right. Every right, all right. like this, especially if you're like in St. Louis or like any big metropolitan city, that's like there's pollution, all pollutants all into the air. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's not good for you in the first place. But tobacco is really bad for you, like hella bad. Mm -hmm. Like you got to think, people have been smoking like any type of herb for hundreds of thousands of years. Thousands you know of years. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's like. That's not the problem. It's just the fact that you're smoking that. You know the way the the the, the product. The, exactly. Like, it is. Yeah, okay. Yeah, bro. I, and now, I, like I said, I've gotten away from the back of it though. Like I, I was really smoking raws, man. Yeah. Like, I, I was, I was double dutching raws, fat, fat raws. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like, okay, okay. I might have, I might have to change, change that up. Yeah. Look I, into, look into vibes. That it's like a little, just little cones. It's just. It's a lot of pre-roll. My pops put me on some cones too. Yeah. Um, that's got like kind of like a tequila little really but flavor to it. Them yeah. motherfuckers, they, they was hard. It was like it was like a real hard like I don't know like a real hard taste to it. But it it them most hit and you you be fried though. No, but yeah. One thing I like about the back of it though is the fact that like it just. It, it burned better and hit better. With it burns air. so slow because of all the chemicals that's on that shit, bro. Mm, don't you fuck me up. <laughs> that's the thing, like, it's a difference, too. Like, it's, it's even better. As long if you wash, like, if you thoroughly wash your wood and then microwave them, bro, that's better than smoking just the microwave. Wood. Yeah, that's how you dry them. You wet them, you know, like, like actually, like, put them in the water. Yeah, that's what I do. And then you dry them off with a paper towel. And that's what all that to the microwave. I ain't never, I ain't never, never heard of hot fronto or nothing like that. Uh -uh. It's like the New York shit. They be doing like hot frontos. Like they're like, they literally like put that shit in the microwave, warm it up, and then roll. <laughs> like, like, like it's a motherfucking quesadilla or something. Yeah, like look at hot fronto. That shit crazy. I, uh, yeah, that, that's how my whole process go. Like I said, I cut it, wet it, you yeah. know what I'm saying, get a paper towel. Like I be in that mode straight, like, like scraping the little flakes and stuff off yeah, there and everything. Wait, that's what I'm saying. saying. That whole process, bro. It probably take us like the time about like it don't matter how fast you are. It probably take me about maybe five to eight minutes, bro. Bro, it probably take me like if I already got the gas broke down, bro. It probably take me like three minutes to pack a pack one of them three G's. Put three G's into a uh, into a, a so cone. Yeah, even a cone. Like I don't got so good at cones. Like I'm cones a cone easy. Master. I'm a cones cone. easy. No, because I know some people that be fucking up cones, but they be having air pockets. That you have it too, cause you can't pack it too tight, cause you ain't gonna get no. Drip That's what I'm saying. So like with the air pockets, like 
I feel like a few, like one or two air pockets is cool. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to break the gas down all the way. You can have your little chunks. You got to get your grinder, bro. We, we look like I can't fuck with the grinder. We scientists with this shit, bro. I, can't, I cut myself on the grinder. I can't fuck with the grinder. Damn, for real? Yeah. I what, can't was you, you, what was you doing? I was, it, it got stuck. Like, it really got stuck in the thing. And oh. I was trying to, like, pull it off and, like, you know, yeah. like, t- take it apart. And when I got ready to, like, like take it apart. Like, clean your grinder. That's probably the what little, it was. The little edge part of it where the twist in, like when you twist it, at, yeah. it, it cut my finger. You gotta clean like, it. That's that's dead. That's the thing. People people don't be like that's. I don't smoke everybody because they don't be clean. Like I clean my grinder. I clean my bowl. Mm-hmm. Like my, my little bowl or mm-hmm. whatever. We clean the bomb. Like everything. We clean all that. Like. We clean our tray. Like, yeah, I, I people don't be clean as the tray. Then they had that thing where it was like put your grinder in, in milk or chocolate milk or something. It was gross, bro. It was nasty, bro. It was, it was like a little trend that was going on like with smokers. They was like putting their whole grinder in the or like they just to get all like all the keef out of it. Okay. And it was gross, bro. Like and, put, and it just was pulling all the dirt and shit out of it. Yeah, because like you gotta think about it, like you gotta think you put your hands in there. You see it, the science kid with the shit. Bro. Man, like I mean, we I'm telling you, bro, like this shit this shit all happened in like a year probably like I freshman year I smoked maybe twice all year. <laughs> Sophomore year it got a little amped up. <laughs> now we really turned up over here. This motherfucker got out of hand. Oh no, yeah, now we really even turned up over here. But bro. the reason another reason why I don't like the grinders though is because it's like bro, the grinders is like it well, I don't know. I might not know how to use a grinder fully to hundred percent, but okay. like when I when I grind it, I I I may probably I didn't get it a few times. I didn't learn from like grind it down too much. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing though, because this is the thing. So you gotta get it. You gotta understand like, okay. So if I put a nugget here, let's say, let's say I'm rolling a Dutch. Don't don't grind it too far. You gotta keep checking it to see mm-hmm. how big the, the like you know how mm-hmm. much it break down. Nugget, yeah. But if you're doing a pre roll, but you can break that fucking down until it's nothing, like because mm-hmm. you can pack more in there. Then pack more the in smaller there. the particles, the more air gonna get through. Mm-hmm. But then you can't. You cannot like. Push it you down. You can't pack it down too much because you're not going to get nothing out of it. Yeah. Like, we done had it, like, I don't remember my lesson a couple times with Cone because he was like, they were trying to hurry, they trying to make me go fast. I'm like, all right, bro, I'm going to go fast. <laughs> I packed the motherfucker too tight and motherfucker twist the motherfucker cone. I try to hit that motherfucker, it's not light. I'm like, yeah, bro. It's then, not light. Like, it's going to hit into the yeah. end. It's still, it's all, the, all the gas going now. Yeah, yeah, but we, I ended, I ended up just like cutting off the little thing, taking some of the gas out, like taking all the gas off, repacking it, and it was cool. Just had to do another cone. Yeah, I, I had to stop. I, I'll probably get back on the grinding now that I know how to use it. But yeah. that, after I cut my finger on that grinding, and, and then I was mad that day I threw that shit out the window. I ain't nah, nah, I don't blame you, bro. <laughs> I threw yeah. that shit out the window. Just make sure you keep it clean. It's like, you only got to clean the inside if you don't want to because you want to keep all that like residue and the, the key and everything. Mm-hmm. You can keep that. But just keep, like clean around like the part that's turned. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So that it keeps it like, you know, that's what happened to my homeboy shit. His grinder was broken because... You let the, the shit, like the, cause you know, that shit like secretes like oils and shit like mm-hmm. that. It got too caked up on the, um, the parts that turn. Okay. It, it would not turn no more. Like it just, All it right, got yeah. sticky. So. Motherfucker fuck around, put some WD-40 on his oh, shit. Exactly. <laughs> he rapped about EP, he rapped about football, he yeah. rapped about the scientifics behind the gas. Yeah, you feel me? Um, but we don't smoke though. <laughs> I just research this stuff. Man. We just do our research, that's smoke, it. Bro. Um, shit, but. I mean, shit, we didn't we didn't touch bases on a lot of shit already, for real, for real. Sure. But yeah, man, I I appreciate you taking the time out, you know, you jumping on this mug and sure, you know, rapping with me real quick. We we were we was talking about this shit for hell of a time. No, we was had a good conversation, bro. I appreciate that do it again, man. Yeah, for sure. I'm I'm a double back. You know, I'm gonna be through here a few no, times. For sure, so, for sure. For but, sure. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. Appreciate y'all. Long little Cam, long little uh, Bull, School of the World. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? Me, on me, Let's all love, all love. Go, go, go! Check out my boy music that he got on SoundCloud right now. Yes, sir. Yes, you know sir. what I'm saying? And get it tuned for that EP. Come on, AJ Sweezy at everything. AJ S W I E Z Y. On me, on me, on me. I'm gonna put it down in the description below. But yeah, appreciate y'all for tuning in, man.